All right. Section 5.3 talking about Euler's formula. Okay. So first we have a couple things to define. We have faces. So if you have a planar graph that is drawn in such a way that the um, edges do not intersect, because we know we can have a planar graph where the edges intersect, but we have to redraw it. So if it's drawn in such a way that none of the edges intersect, these are called faces. So this is a face, this is a face, and this is a face. The outside is called an infinite face. And that's the region outside of the graph, okay? So in Euler's formula, you need a couple of things. First of all, you have to have a connected planar graph, okay? So we've got a connected planar graph, and it has to be drawn so that none of the uh, edges intersect. So V is going to be the number of vertices. E is going to be the number of edges. F is going to be the number of faces. So the formula is V plus F is going to equal E plus 2. So the number of vertices plus the number of faces is going to equal the number of edges plus 2. Okay. So if we look at this picture here, I have one, two, three, four, five. I almost put that under edges. Five vertices. Okay. I have one, two, three, four faces. We count the face out here. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven edges. And it shows five vertices plus four faces is equal to seven edges plus two. So they're gonna ask you to verify a graph using Euler's formula. This is exactly what you do. You write it out. And if you write V, F, E, and 2 above them, you don't have to tell me what is what. That's verifying. That's all that I need to see.